Okay, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create some simple GIFs for your website or social media. Now, I use a lot of these GIFs on my website and um, it really does sort of gain traction and attention on your website or in social media. So let's dive right into this. So let's close my web page. This is the one we're gonna be creating today. So I have a series of images that I've already gone ahead and retouched and I'm gonna produce this GIF, this size, at this speed. So let's close that. Incidentally, when you open a GIF on the desktop, press the space bar and that will run it um, as an infinite loop as your GIF or GIF. And there's another way of doing it. And I've had a couple of people mention it on one of my other channels. If you double click on the GIF, it will open it as a series of images. Obviously that you want to watch it as a running GIF, but just as a side note, that's how it works. All right, so let's dive into DaVinci Resolve. This is where we're going to be making our GIF today. So these are the images that I've already gone ahead and retouched. Let's just open up a couple of these. So you might be shooting and you have a series of images you really like and you can't choose which one. So you want to use all of them. So why not create a uh, looping GIF just to sort of showcase uh, how beautiful these images are that you shot? Because uh, we get a lot of wasted images in our edits. We tend to shoot a lot more than we actually need. So it's really nice to be able to display it in a different way. So what we want to do is we want to open up a project in DaVinci Resolve. I'm sure you know how to do that by now. And then on the media tab down the bottom here, if you find your images on the desktop, select them all, Apple A to select all, drag them into here and then they come up. And then we want to just full screen our DaVinci Resolve pane. Now what we need to do is select all of these images. So again, we go Command A, we right click on any of these images, create a new timeline using selected clips. And then we need to go into project settings, format, and then you need to select your size. You want your GIF or GIF to be run at. So I'm gonna run mine at about a four, well, it's a four by five aspect ratio. So I'm gonna go 4,000 by 5,000, and I'm gonna change the frame rate to 16 frames a second, create that. And then what you need to do is double click on this timeline and that will open it in the edit pane. If you're zoomed in like this, just scroll with your mouse wheel, just scroll back so you can see the entire canvas and then we need to let's just close this window here so we don't need our media pool or our effects panel we are zoomed into our timeline to, so to zoom out we go command minus keep going until you can see all your images on the timeline now if we press spacebar which is play you can see that they're running too slow at the moment so what we need to do is change that duration on these images so the way we do that is we do it all at the same time press spacebar to stop so again we are in the timeline we press option a to select all and then we go option D for duration and then we need to click on one second, click change and then you'll see you've got these gaps in between your clips, in between your frames. So the quickest way to close these gaps up is to go up to edit, scroll down to delete gaps and that closes all your gaps up, nice and easy. So let's go back to the beginning and play. Now, depending on how long you want your GIF to run, you need to obviously adjust your duration accordingly. So again, this is a little bit too slow for me. So I'm gonna go back into duration, command D, and then I'm going to just put a zero in there and I'm gonna run it for eight frames. So that's eight frames there, change. We've got our gaps back. So the quickest way to do that is command shift delete. And then if we play, we can see it's playing back much quicker. And for me, that's perfect. So all we need to do now is render this out. Uh, the way we do that is we go to the deliver pane at the bottom here, click on that, uh, select a title for it, your final, select the location you want to render it out to. I'm going to the desktop, press save. And then under export video, you now have in DaVinci Resolve 18.5, the option to export GIFs. Now select that and then your custom resolution. Now, obviously we set our project up as 4,000 by 5,000. When you output this, it's not only gonna be slow on the export, it's gonna be way too big for most browsers and it's gonna take a while to load. So what I would do is I would just downsize it and this is what's worked for me. It might be different for you. So I'm just taking a zero off and then our frame rate is 16 and then add to render queue. Render that out and it should do that pretty quick. And if you go to your desktop, press spacebar, 
and there's your final GIF. And that is really as easy as it is. Let me know in the comments below if you have any problems doing this and I'll be happy to answer any questions where possible. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. We'll be making a lot more of these content type tutorials. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.